Welcome to Prime Sports Media. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Here we go. That's right. That's right, everybody. Welcome to Prime Sports Media. Let's get at it right now. Um, I just got to say that there's been a lot of exciting things happening with Deion Sanders around the issues of the spring game. And that spring game was very successful. As I'm going to put this on the screen, beautiful campus. You see him with the players there and you see the stadium right here. Um, it was a packed house in that stadium. Uh, one of the biggest openings for a spring game in history and Deion Sanders was in fine form as well as his team. Now, of course, as you know, there were some issues around the fact that he lost uh, 18 players, but he's been losing players in the transfer portal. And at the same time, he's been getting players come to the university so as you lose some you gain some and that's the name of the game some kids can't handle his program and what he's trying to do to stress excellence and some kids can it's just the way it happens but let me go into one that you may be very familiar with in this young man right here and that is shane hooks what is shane hooks going to do because shane hooks has a very interesting history ladies and gentlemen should i say a very interesting history because shane hooks at one point in time played at the ohio university which is the ohio university bobcats where he ended up leaving to connect with primetime coach prime and we're going to go put this up here and let you see prime at colorado right now he ended up hooking up with prime who's at colorado right now and transferring over to Jackson State. That's right, he played at Jackson State and had some success there at Jackson State, I must say. I must say indeed. So he was there at Jackson State with, with Coach Prime. Here's another clip right here. And I would think that, hey, he's gonna, it's an easy situation. He's gonna transfer into the transfer portal and join Coach Prime prime time at Colorado but then he put a monkey ranch in everything and said hey I'm gonna go to Ole Miss I'm gonna play at Ole Miss so he decided he's not gonna go play with Deion Sanders at Colorado to play at Ole Miss but then now he's throwing a, another monkey ranch into that situation now he was a very productive player at Jackson State let me give you some number now for example this is a very important example I'm gonna give you. We know that Travis Hunter was highly touted as one of the number one high school receivers in the country. And Dion was able to nab him as a five-star recruit to Colorado to see you. And everyone was excited about that. And of course, he's gotta get his legs and get himself, himself acclimated to college level football, of course. But the person who was the most productive receiver for Dion was Shane Hooks. Shane Hooks stands at six foot four, 205 pounds out of Orlando, Florida. Okay. Now, another thing that's important to note is that he got about 66 catches for about 775 yards. He grabbed down 10 touchdowns in just in 13 games. So actually it was Shane Hooks who was the more productive receiver when he was playing for Coach Primetime at the university or what we call the beautiful HBCU school, Jackson State. Let me give them a clap. Now, this is what's very important, ladies and gentlemen. We know that 
Shador Sanders, let me get that right, Shador Sanders needs talent around him. If this young man's gonna make a Heisman run, if he's gonna become one of the better quarterbacks in uh, the Pac-12 as we know it, he's gonna need some dogs in that receiving core. And I think it's important that not only he has someone like a Travis Hunter, but I think he needs to have someone like Shane Hooks, who was very productive in his time at the, uni at the university, the Jackson State. And let's go right here and show you a highlight of exactly what we're talking about when it comes to Shane Hooks and his talent, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play this for you right here. So as you can see, watch this. Shador throws the ball and what a catch by Shane Hooks. Incredible. I want y'all to see the replay as this young man is productive. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. That's he's This man is talented. Talented enough that Ole Miss was willing to take him, but now he's changed his mind on going to Ole Miss. So now he has changed his mind. As been reported that the former Jackson State wide receiver Shane Hooks made some new news just this week. He announced that he was committing to a Ole Miss football. Well, eight days later, Shane Hooks, as you see him making incredible catches there, announced that he has decommitted from the rebels and wants to take his time to think about what he wants to do the question is will he go back to the man that he had success under and that is the one and only Dion sanders neon Dion, who probably knows the young man's talent best why don't you just go on back there to your coach to the man prime time that you originally left Ohio University Bobcats for. And now you went to, you decided to go to the transfer portal and go to Ole Miss, where you now have reneged on Ole Miss and said, ah, you're not going there. You're not going to go there. It's not the place that you want to be. Well, then where do you want to be? Is this the man you want to play for? Is it Dion? You want to play? You want to have that swagger? You want to? Hey, we're coming. He says, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. So Shane, make up your mind what you want to do. I know that you're a young man and you want to think things through and make the best decision for you, but you did have some success at Jackson State with Deion Sanders as your coach. Why not just come on out? I'm waiting to see this man come out and say, I'm going to Colorado. Here you have him saying, where is is it going? Shane Hooks is in the portal. But where is he going? That's the big question mark. Because he's reneged on Ohio University when he played for them. Then he left to go to Jackson State with brother Deion Sanders. And then he, when Deion left from Jackson State, he said, hey, I'm going to go to Ole Miss, put myself in a portal, and now he's reneged on Ole Miss. So what is he going to do? I think when you've got the skill set that this young man has to play football, as you see right here, I think he should consider it. Um, is he torn between what he wants to do as a young man? Of course he would be. But I think he would have a lot of success with Deion Sanders at Colorado. I think I think these numbers would definitely go up because he led Jackson State with 66 catches, 775 yards, 10 TDs, and 13 games that he played. I think he can increase that with the talent that he can bring to Colorado. And with them losing some players and gaining some players, I think it's fine time for Shane Hooks to come on now, let's not cap, let's not troll if that's what's going on. Make your decision, brother. And I think that you should make it. This is just me and my personal opinion, Shane. If you're listening to this video, I think you should connect back with your old coach, Primetime, and make something special happen at the CU, which is Colorado. Let's make things happen there. I think you can. 
I think the coach believes in you. He believes in your skill set, or he would have not went for you in the first place to get you to commit to decommit from Ohio University to come to Jackson State. And now you're kind of in a limbo as to what you want to do, young man. But I think you should consider going to Colorado because I think you can have some success playing under this man right here who has a vision for the program and wants to take this program somewhere to higher flights. So I hope that Shane comes to his conclusion as to what he's going to do because I think Shador Sanders can use the talent, the skill sets that this young man will bring to make him look even better as a quarterback, give him more weapons. The more weapons you give a good quarterback, the more he can make magic happen. Just like he is now right here with Travis Hunter. See this? This right here, Travis Hunter. Boom. Great catch. Great talent. And um, why not? You, the more the merrier when it comes to talent. I think the young man needs to make a decision because this is where he had the most success. It was at Jackson State. Shane Hooks. He entered the transfer portal to go to Ole Miss. He's reneged on them. And now he's trying to do a collective. He's trying to collectively get his thoughts together as to what he wants to do. With that said, everybody, I want to thank you for listening to the program. I hope that you are doing well out there. Subscribe, hit the bell notification because you'll get more videos like this. And I really appreciate you all out there who have been supporting this program as you have. Like I said, thank you for watching. And I want to say definitely like and make a comment on this video if you can. And I want you to definitely subscribe because I would appreciate that. Everyone out there, I'll be back with more presentation. I'm going to keep this whole thing going as much as I possibly can. We're giving you great content, great content that you can really depend on that I'm going to talk about all things Deion Sanders on this channel, all things Colorado, all things sports in general. But I, this is a new channel trying to build this channel up. And I thank you all for subscribing to this channel. And I especially want to thank all my new subscribers to this channel. Thank you. And I'm going to give you content. Thank you. Just like this. Everyone out there, you take care of yourself.